go. Whoa! Oh, that thing's huge. Oh, there it is. Holy cow! That's the that's what we like to hear. That is holy cow. Break your rod. Break my rod. There we go. Guys, taking me to my back end going upriver. There he goes. Most all the fish have been caught like on a Dalai Lama. This is a big, big, heavy fly. You know, casting it in, having it sink right down. That thing is a load to cast. Now, what really wears you out is pulling that fly out of the water to recast. See, I'm, I'm casting out here. I'm letting it drift. And it's sinking down in these deep holes. And then when I, when I get to the end, I've got to pull it out of there. Pulling that heavy fly out of the water is what's killing your arm and your shoulder. It's wearing you out. Without having that reel on there, it's so much easier to pull that fly out of the water. When I've got this big heavy reel on there, oh, now I'm lifting the weight, not only of that big fly, but also of that, of that big heavy reel. You know, that eight weight reel weighs quite a bit. And when you gotta pull that fly out of the water, now you're lifting, you're lifting all that weight, extra weight you don't have to. It's going to make it a lot easier for you when you're salmon fishing by just taking that reel off. Then just take that reel off, and now I don't have that weight. It's so much easier to cast this Dalai Lama, or any fly for that matter. Just having to rip it out of the water is going to make it so much easier and get a quicker hook set, too. You know, it's you're watching that tip of that fly line, and as soon as that line twitches, you've got to you know, set the hook or basically cast again when that hook and by taking that reel off your your much faster hook set than when you've got that reel on there. So you're gonna catch more fish that way. Alright, the what day is it? Three, four? Just at least my first fish of the day. Got two hits on four casts, so Started out well. Let's see if we stick another one here. Using a black and white Dalai Lama. Casting right in towards the trees there. Fly swing through there. There you go. Nice one, nice colored one. This one, didn't quite realize it's hooked yet. Nice one, looks like a big buck. Oh, this will not come in. So I can get an hour break. Goes up a little bit. I want. And Fly fish or salmon with one arm. But also, just to give you a break. It's been long days of catching these fruits. I'm just tired. Not that small a dude. Not too proud to say I need some help fighting these fish. Just a great fighting harness. Fight them like normal. Take it out there, fight them like normal. 
Come on. 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 There we go. Almost. All right. Nice one. Wow. That is a beauty. Yeah, buddy. Let's hook you out. Get you back in the water. Right on the tip of his nose here. There we go. Flies out. It's a beautiful salmon. There he goes. That's a nice buck. Did you see that? He tried to attack me. <laughs> I saw the look in his eye. That fish wanted to slap me upside the face. My shiller's got a Rex Roy bottle and needs both hands on the net. <laughs> Shaler, stop screwing around, dude. Oh, now he's wrapped in my fish. There we go. Nice job. Nice one. Look at that. Right in the corner. Big male. There's shaler's caught so many fish. Using the Rex fly to take some of the pressure off. Let go with your right hand, see what happens. <laughs> it's gonna bend me over. <laughs> Let's take some of the pressure off. There you go. Yeah, this feel better on my wrist. Sure. Yeah, catching all these fish, man. <laughs> oh, that one hit it as soon as it hit the water. One decided it didn't want to be beached. <sighs> Holy cow. See. Yeah. Right in the mouth. Oh. Oh. Let that beauty go. Fat female.